know this message goes out to all the givers out there in the world. You know the givers, you know that's probably you, my friend, that just want to give, that don't mind wanting to encourage and inspire other people and don't mind giving from themselves to see it happen. In fact, givers will give all that they have to help and inspire other people. My heart goes out to the givers today. And this message, my friends, is for you. My heart also goes out to all the people out there with good hearts. I mean, even when people do you wrong and you want to hate them, you just can't find that hate within you because all that lies in you is love and compassion, my friend. My heart goes out to you, my friend, to all the people with good hearts. I know how challenging that life could be, but keep fighting the good fight, my friend. So all the givers, all the people with good hearts, this message is for you, my friends. See, you saw that message on social media about the givers. See, givers got to regulate how much they give because takers never will. They'll just keep consuming and taking from you until you're no more. They'll take everything you got, my friend. So my heart goes out to the givers and to the people with good hearts, my friend. And this is what you got to understand, right? This is what you got to understand. Too much of anything leads to evil. So even though your intentions are good, you still got to regulate them, my friend. And this will help, right? You got to learn to put you first, my friend. To all the givers, to all the people with good hearts, to all the people that want nothing more than to uplift others and to raise the level of the world. And you're willing to give up yourself. You're willing to be the change that you want to see in the world, my friend. You got to learn. I know your intentions are good. But you got to learn to put you first. Your life depends on it, my friend. Here's the thing. This will help you learn how to put you first. You got to stop being so committed to helping other people that you neglect to help yourself, my friend. You got to be first, my friend, or else it will be to your demise, my friend. I mean, just think, ask yourself this question. How helpful can you really be? How effective can you really be to other people when you're not even at your very best self, my friend? You're not even playing with a full deck and you still passing out cards to other people, my friend. How effective is that? See, this is what it all comes down to, my friend. You gotta stop allowing what other people may think or say about you to cause you to cram up and promote them. Put them up on a pedestal, put them higher than you and demote yourself, my friend. Put you way down the bottom. See, here's the hard truth. Nobody can take anything that you're not willing to give, my friend. So you gotta learn how to put you first, my friend. Above all else, you, yes, you. You got to be first, right? Number one, here's why you got to be first. Because you can't pour from an empty, empty, empty cup. You got to replenish yourself, my friend. Nobody else is going to replenish you. You gave it all out, so you got to bring it back in. Because that person that you help, guess what? They looking for more help. They not looking to help you. They will milk you dry, my friend. Stop pouring from an empty cup. Once you see your cup not full, not adequate amount in it, forget everybody and go fill up, my friend. That's what you got to do, right? And number two, you got to always know and never forget that there's no one in all the world. I don't care how high or low you look, you won't find anyone in the whole world that's greater than you, my friend. The buck stops with you, right? It's all about you, my friend. There's nobody greater than you. I don't care what they got. I don't care what they look like. I don't care what they talking about. You're the greatest, my friend. And number three, you got to develop a greatness mindset. A mind bold enough to believe, right? That self-love. Not loving this person so they can give you external validation. Not trying to do everything for this person so they can embrace you into the group. 
Self-love. That's loving yourself more than anyone or anything else. Self-love is the greatest love of all, my friend. Love yourself from the inside out and you'll never do anything else because that feeling, that feeling of assurance, that feeling of knowing that you're the greatest, that feeling of being the head and not the tail, of being first and not last, that feeling is intoxicating, my friend. That feeling will be the ride that you sit on and strap your seatbelt and you never get off of it. Love yourself, my friend. Put you first. Be bold enough to put you first. Even when you feel like putting other people before you. Be bold enough to not sell yourself out. Be bold enough to uphold your truth and align your words, thoughts, and actions up with that truth. And that will keep you motivated for a lifetime, my friend. And never forget, I don't care what opposition comes your way. I don't care what challenge comes your way. Never forget, my friend. You were born to be great.